Hello and welcome. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 World Aeropress Championship winner's recipe. This is Carolina Ibarra Garay's recipe. Now, her story is pretty cool. I'm going to link to uh, a couple places where you can read interviews with her and learn more about her and her story and how she came up with this recipe and the experience of going through the championships. Um, I think that'd be pretty interesting to read for those of you who haven't uh, or aren't familiar with the uh, kind of barista style championships in the world. The AeroPress one is of course based around brewing with the AeroPress. So uh, I'm doing this series now looking at uh, AeroPress championship recipes just to learn what the well what the pros are doing people who have gotten so into the brewing that they have come up with well the best recipes in the world now what we what you will find is that a lot of these recipes are made for specific coffees when they do the championship um, the world championship everyone is brewing with the same coffee and so uh, competitors usually come in with a particular recipe and then tweak it for that coffee this particular recipe as you may already have noticed, so this use the, uses the inverted brewing method. So instead of having the brewer here with the filter and you add the coffee and the water and then press, we begin with the brewer like this. And we're going to add the coffee and the water thusly and then flip the brewer over. If you are just jumping in on this series with this video, check out the first video of the series. I'll link to it below. Uh, you can also go through the playlist. I don't personally ever really brew with the inverted method. Um, to me, it's just a bit clumsy. Uh, I understand the merits of it. The idea is you get a bit more immersion. There's no dripping of the coffee through the filter while you're brewing. So that can happen when you're brewing this way. You add the coffee in the water, and then as you begin the brew, some coffee starts to drip out. Well, that's not gonna happen when the, when the brewer is like this. So. Uh, I think when you do it like this, you get a little bit more of an immersion style brew uh, than brewing like this, but sometimes I feel that the differences are fairly neg negligible. With that being said, the last three or four winners of the World AeroPress Championships have been with inverted methods. So, uh, and a lot of competitors really do that, use that. So, I mean, there's something to, the, to it. Okay, so this recipe in particular, inverted brew method, we're actually going to be using 34.9 grams of coarsely ground coffee. This uses, uh, this particular recipe uses a lot of coffee to the water, uh, so it's unusual in that respect. The total amount of water we're going to use is 200 grams, 100 of that's going to be in the brew, and then afterwards we're going to add 60 grams, and the water is going to be uh, 85 degrees Celsius or 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So after the brew, we're going to add 60 grams of that water, and then we're going to add another 40 of room temperature water. I call that step optional. The point of that, and that gets added to the cup after the brew, the point of that is to bring the temperature of the coffee down in a competition being judged. So when a competitor brews a coffee, the coffee's brewed and then served to the judges. Well, if you need the coffee to be down to a certain temperature in order to enjoy all the flavors, one way to do that is by adding cooler water afterwards. So I call it optional because if you're brewing a cup of coffee and then you're not gonna drink it for a while, you may not wanna do that. For the purposes of this recipe, I'm gonna be doing that, adding 40 grams of just room temperature water here at the end. Okay, so we've rinsed the filter, that's ready, standing by. I'm gonna add the coffee course and then I'm gonna add 100 grams of water. I'm going to stir with chopsticks for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to add the filter, flip open the over the AeroPress onto my serving vessel. I'm just using a mug in this case. Press for 30 seconds and then add water afterwards. So let's get to it. I have a lightly roasted natural Ethiopian for this. I'm going to try to add the 34 point nine grams exactly. Oh, do I have exactly 34.9 here? Aha, uh -huh, I do. So as you can see, that's a lot. I might actually need to create a little bit of room here. Uh, so I'm actually gonna start the plunger uh, just below the four uh, inverted. So uh, just above the four in the other direction. As you can see, the coffee is taking up quite a bit of space here. And if you have darker roasted coffee than this, it's gonna take up even more space. So we have 
exactly 185 degrees here, 85 degrees Celsius, 185 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to add 100 grams of water and then stir for 30 seconds. And so the directions are to stir vigorously but gently. So I'm just gonna stir swiftly. I'm just kind of holding the chopsticks like this. I don't actually know if there's a particular technique for this, but that's what I'm doing. And just stir continuously for the 30 seconds. As you can see, the nice thing about this is I don't have to worry about hitting a filter or losing uh, coffee, but all right. That is done. And now the flip. Only a little bit of a mess. And now we press for another 30 seconds. So no need to go fast with this because there's only 100 grams of water in here. I'm just using just a little bit of weight with my hands here. This is an interesting process. A lot of coffee being used here. I think it's likely that this kind of... I'm really wanting to uh, keep pressing, but maybe I should stop. Um, that is 30 seconds. There's a lot of water left in here. Uh, I'm going to fudge this a little bit and press a little more. Okay, that's fine. So, very interesting because there is quite a bit of coffee in this. I think uh, this kind of recipe is maybe um, impractical for a lot of people's daily... Oh man, okay. This is not technically accurate, but I really want to taste this. I'm just curious. Woo! That is... Ooh. It's very concentrated, but actually not as like sour as I expected. Okay, I need to add 60 grams here. So this is... Yeah, it's a little cooler than... 85 at this point, it's more like 80, but that's all right. So 60 grams of that, and now 40 grams room temperature. So we have, you know, I'm filled up to here. I, I'm gonna say this is between four and six ounce cup of coffee. It is immediately drinkable due to the, uh, oh, due to the 40 grams there. Interesting, this is really bright. So the competition coffee they used that, that year, uh, well, this was last year as I'm recording this, was a Kenyan coffee. The coffee I'm using here is a naturally processed Ethiopian, which might not be the best coffee for this brewing method. Yeah, I can't quite pull out the fruit, but I feel like, because I'm tasting, there's like a smooth, there's definitely smoothness to it, there's a sweetness, but there's like a sour kind of top note to it. And I'm wondering, if I'm wondering if this really does want the Kenyan coffee for this particular recipe. That's an interesting, that's an interesting thought. Oh, the smoothness of it is really intriguing, but it's just kind of missing. It's missing a richness. That's what it is. It's missing a richness. Possible. I ground the coffee a little too coarse. The, uh, the settings recommendations with these recipes are not precise. Uh, and of course, when the as the as the competitors are creating their recipe, they're using a specific grinder, so they know exactly what to do with their grinder. Uh, but I have a different grinder. You have a different grinder. What is coarse really? Um, you'll see on the website because I'm going to link to the website where the recipe is. They have a coarseness of eight out of ten listed, so not the most coarse you can make. And I definitely don't have it at the coarsest that I could make it. But it's possible it was still a little too coarse. Hard to tell. Yeah, the smoothness of it is really good, but there's definitely a richness and a sweetness and a fruit flavor that's lacking. Uh, so maybe a different coffee for this particular brew method, or rather a different kind of recipe is needed for this particular coffee. Uh, but that's all right. So that gives you an idea of that particular recipe. Uh, I think it's really interesting, uh, a fun one to experiment with perhaps if you don't mind using quite a bit of coffee. I think that's the only real downside to this recipe. It's not very practical on a daily basis. Uh, with almost 35 grams of coffee, you could be making, uh, well, let's see, almost 600 grams brewed of coffee, which is like two cups full of this versus a half cup. So if you're playing around with like expensive coffees, you know, experimenting with this kind of recipe can, um, I mean, you can end up running through coffee pretty quickly. 
and there are a lot of other really good recipe options, but I think it's an interesting experiment nonetheless. So that has been the 2018 World Air Press Champion, Champions recipe that's Carolina Ibarra Garay's recipe. And again, I'm gonna link to uh, a couple interviews with her. Her story is pretty cool. Um, it's interesting to check that out. And uh, maybe you can read a bit about her reasonings and thoughts with creating this recipe and maybe that will give you some ideas as well. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Uh, always happy to chat coffee. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.